What do U.S. World Wars have to do with Judeo-Christian values? In Fort Wayne, Indiana, we're being bombarded with TV ads promoting Luke Messer, Todd Rokita, and Mike Braun, three self-proclaimed conservative Republicans bragging about being oh-so-Christian while vilifying Mexicans as illegal people and completely ignoring U.S. world wars in the Middle East and Africa. WoWo AM is the conservative capitalist Christian Republican radio station in Fort Wayne, with self-proclaimed Christian conservative Republican Pat Miller doing a daily radio show. Now, I would say Pat Miller is one of the most pro-war Christians I've ever heard in my life, but most of these Republican Christians in the media and politics love war so much. Pat Miller and WoWo openly use religion. Christianity, and Judaism in particular, to encourage pro-war political thought and action. When the U.S. Air Force dropped the mother of all bombs on Afghanistan in 2017, Pat Miller was absolutely loving it. Pat Miller called the bomb Moab, because that's what the Air Force called it, Moab. Let's go to the Los Angeles Times. Headline, Air Force drops non-nuclear mother of all bombs in Afghanistan, April 13th, 2017. The U.S. military dropped the most powerful non-nuclear bomb in its arsenal Thursday on a cave and tunnel complex that it said was used by Islamic State fighters in eastern Afghanistan, a stark reminder of a U.S. war now in its 16th grinding year. The behemoth bomb, officially called the Massive Ordnance Air Blast, or MOAB, is also known as the mother of all bombs. It is 30 feet long, weighs nearly 11 tons, and produces a devastating above-ground explosion that sends a mushroom cloud rolling high in the sky. Like the U.S. retaliatory missile strike in Syria last Friday, however, use of the monster munition in Afghanistan is more symbolic than tactical, since it is unlikely to change the course of America's longest war. President Trump praised the attack as a very, very successful mission. People. President Trump and Pat Miller were so happy about dropping the mother of all bombs in Afghanistan for a symbolic explosion. Those guys were celebrating the symbolic explosion from Moab. Both of those guys failed to celebrate the Holy Bible origins of the term Moab. So we have to go to the Holy Bible, the book of Genesis, chapter 19. So I'm going to need my seeing glasses and my Holy Bible. And so, you people are familiar with the story of the Lord destroying the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. And then these angels allowed Lot and his family to leave these cities while they're being destroyed. Okay? But they're not supposed to look back. Lot's wife looks back and she's turned into a pillar of salt. That's usually where you guys leave the story. But it continues from there. So we're going to go to Genesis chapter 19, verse 30. And Lot went up out of Zohar and dwelt in the mountain, and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zohar, and he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve seed of thy father. And they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in, and lay with her father, and he perceiveth not when she lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the morrow, that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesternight with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also, and go thou in, and lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night also, and the younger, and lay with him. And he perceiveth not when she lay down, nor when she arose. Thus were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. And the firstborn bare a son, and called his name Moab. The same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. And the younger she also bare a son, and called his name Benami. And the same is the father of of the children of Ammon unto this day. And so people, Moab, well Moab is the son of Lot. Moab is the product of incest. So you see, Lot had sex with both of his daughters 
giving birth to Moab and Benami. Now, I haven't seen this Benami bomb yet, but we have seen Moab, the mother of all bombs. Okay? That's what Pat Miller is talking about. When you hear about Moab being dropped on Afghanistan for a symbolic explosion in a war that the United States has fought since 2001, that is overt religious exploitation for symbolism in war. Now, when you see these political TV ads with Republicans talking about Christianity, that is overt religious exploitation for political gain. Now, these guys like Pat Miller at Woe AM are going to keep using Judaism and Christianity to fuel U.S. world wars that contribute directly to the global refugee crisis that rivals World War II. So the next time you hear the term Judeo-Christian values, you'll know what it means.